This is our third example. Um, we've got hell in a handbasket, right? Which is, you know, where the world's going, right? Okay, a 5.2 kilogram box. Okay, that's not a force, but the weight of that mass on Earth would be a force, right? Uh, and she brings it down from a 1.45 meter uh, tall shelf, right? Okay, so this box is up here, and here's the floor, and Helena Handbasket is bringing it down, right? So that's actually the displacement is down, but the force we're exerting, remember, we're not spiking this thing into the ground. Right? We're actually exerting an upward force to keep it from falling or accelerating, right? Our force is going to be upward, and that force is going to be the weight, right? And the weight is going to be mg, right? So step one, if they give you a mass, and you're moving it up and down, right? This is what you got to do. You got to figure out the weight 5.2 times 9.81, 51, 0.012 Newtons. That's the force, right? And then the work is, well, now this is tricky, right? That's the force there. This is tricky because the force and the displacement are in different directions. So theoretically, our angle is, is 180 degrees between those, right? Um, I just know it's going to be negative. So I'm just going to slap a minus sign on there. But you really could go work is Fs cos theta and throw in 180 degrees for that. I'm not going to do that, though, because I just know it's negative, right? So the work is going to be um, 51.012 newtons, okay, times the distance is 1.45 meters, right? And it's negative that. So that times 1.45, I get 73.2. 0.9674, right, uh, Newton meters, right, but it's negative, right, it means that we, she didn't give the box energy, she didn't transfer energy to the box, the box transferred energy to her, 